This is a lesson on perimeter, and our objective today is for you to be able to find the perimeter of a polygon by adding up the measure of all of the sides. And it seems pretty easy, and um, uh, it is up to a certain point, but you have to do a little problem solving. So let's take a look at the word first, right? Perimeter. It's made up of peri and meter. And peri is a root that means around. And then meter is the root that means measure. So this word literally means to measure around. Right? And we're talking about the length around a shape. Not the inside part, around the shape. All right? So to think about perimeter being like the fence of a yard. That would be your perimeter of your yard. You're not you know, put a fence over, you're not going to put a fence in the middle of your yard. It's going to go around the outside, right? So um, when you're building a fence, you need to know the perimeter. You don't need to know how much space is taken up on the inside. That's area, right? Perimeter is the measure of something around the outside. Now, in order to succeed in this lesson, you're going to have to know a couple of things. Number one, you're going to have to know the properties of a parallelogram. And specifically, you have to know that the opposite sides of a parallelogram are equal. So that the top and the bottom in this shape are equal in length, right? So this bottom is equal to that top, even though they're not right on top of each other. Uh, they're off to the side, but they are the same length. And then all parallelograms have two sets of equal sides. And so these sides are equal on the two sides and the top and bottom. Now they're not all equal to each other, and that's why I have two little hash marks on this side and one on the top and the bottom, because the one, the top and the bottom are equal and the two sides are equal, they're not all equal to each other. So if one was labeled, let's say this was labeled 11 meters, we would know that the bottom is also 11 meters. And then if this was uh, labeled 6 meters, we would know that the left side is also 6 meters, even though it isn't labeled. So sometimes you have to do a little problem solving in order to figure out uh, a missing side. And then the second thing you'll have to be able to do today is to be able to add numbers with decimals. Uh, and that's going to take you back uh, a ways. All right, so here's our notes. How do I find perimeter? And the whole lesson is about that. So uh, you're going to be, you know, finding perimeter for a bunch of problems. And when you you know, find out how to find perimeter, just write it in on your note card. And then uh, the second question is, what's the difference between perimeter and area? We already, already talked about perimeter being the outside uh, of a, um, a shape, and then the area is on the inside of the shape, right? So let's just start with that one first. <clears throat> what's the difference between perimeter and area? We talked about peri meaning around and meter meaning measure, so it's to measure around something. Uh, and so we're concerned with the length of that side and the length of the right side, the length of the bottom, plus the length of the left side. And we're not concerned at all with what's inside of it. That's area. Area means how many little squares can fit inside of your perimeter. Okay, so that's why we do perimeter first. We're going to measure around the outside, and then area will tell us how many little tiny squares uh, or big squares can fit inside, how many squares fit inside the inside of your perimeter. That's the difference. All right, here's our example. We're going to be a finding perimeter of this uh, particular shape. And we have four sides, but only two of them are labeled. And here we have to use our problem solving again. So uh, we know that the two opposite sides, two sets of opposite sides, are equal in length. So if the top is 11, then the bottom also has to be the same measure as the top. And then the right side is 4.5, so we know that the left side has to be 4.5 meters also. Now we have everything figured out. We just have to add them all up, right? So we have 11, 4.5, 11, and 4.5. So I have two 11s. And I have two 4.5s, making sure to line up all my 1s there, right? And then adding decimals and zeros to make sure that all the tenths are lined up. Now uh, I have everything in order. I have four sides. I have four things I'm adding up. Uh, now it's time to add. So 0 plus 0 plus 5 plus 5 equals 10. 
that's 10 tenths, right? And so now I have to add the ones. That's one plus one plus one is three, plus four is seven, plus four is 11. And now I'm adding the tens, one, two, three tens, which makes it 31. And the perimeter equals 31, and the measure is meters. Now let's do some guided practice. And in the guided practice, I'm going to show you a couple of different things. Uh, the first one is, um, if you have a regular polygon, which means all the angles and all the sides are the same length, you can use some multiplication, right? So we have a hexagon, which has one, two, three, four, five, six sides. Each side is exactly the same length. It's all four, right? And so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to add four plus four plus four plus four plus four, and then one more four, right? Add them all up six times. Do you hear the word times in there? So instead of using addition, I can use multiplication, which is just another or a way to do fast addition. So I'm going to take the four and I'm going to add it six times, six times four, and that equals 24. And so that's 24 millimeters because that's what's all labeled. And so now I just label it at the end for the correcting pleasure. P equals 24 millimeters. All right, so we can use multiplication sometimes. Now, on the next one, we're not going to be able to use multiplication because not all of the sides are the same length. This is 3.3, and that's 6.6, .6, and that's 6.6. .6. Uh, and so now I need to add them all. Uh, there's three sides, and so I'm going to add up three things, right? So 6.6 .6 inches plus 6.6 .6 inches plus 3.3 .3 inches. How many inches does that equal when we add them all up? 6 plus 6 plus 3 equals 15. 6 plus 6 is 12 plus 3, that's 15. And then 1 plus 6 is 7 plus 6 is 13 plus 3 is 16. Don't forget the decimal. Uh, and so it equals 16.5 inches when I add up all of the uh, lengths around the outside of that shape. P equals 16.5. All right, now sometimes uh, they're going to make you do a little bit of problem, so, uh, of problem solving here. So instead of finding the perimeter now, we're going to be finding the length of a missing side. We still have to know about perimeter to do this. Uh, in fact, we're going to use perimeter uh, to help us figure it out and do a little problem solving. All right, so first thing we have to do is we have to know that the perimeter of this shape equals 28. All right, so the total equals 28. And what we're going to do is we're going to subtract the things that we know from 28 in order to figure out what's left over, right? And then we'll do a little extra problem solving there. I wrote the 28 a little bit too close to the end. In the end is not 28. Uh, it's less than that. The total is 28, so um, it can't be uh, 28. <clears throat> now, I know that the top is 4, and therefore I also know that the bottom is 4. Right, because the opposite sides have to be the same length. So I know that the top and the bottom are four feet each, and so I'm going to subtract four from that, and I'm also going to subtract four from that again. Uh, and so instead of subtracting four and getting a total and subtracting four again, I'm going to subtract both of these things added together. So four plus four is eight. I'll subtract from the total perimeter, and figure out what I have left over. All right, 8 minus 8 is 0, 2 minus 0 is 2, so I have 20 feet left over, and I have to divide that between this side over here and this side over here. They are the same length. I have 20, meter, or 20 feet to um, divide between the two, and so I can take what's left over and divide it by 2 because they're two exactly the same length. So if I divide by 2, I will get 10. 20 divided by 2 is 10. And so the n equals 10 feet. All right, so the n is 10, the opposite is 10. So 10 plus 10 is 20 plus 8 is 28. So I just did a little quick double check there. All right, the next one. Uh, we're going to do some problem solving as well, right? We know that the total perimeter of this triangle is 12 inches. 
we also know that we have a side of 4 and a side of 3. And so if we subtract those two from the total, it'll give us the leftover side. All right, so let's combine the two things we know. 3 plus 4 is 7. So if I take the total and subtract the parts, or two of the parts, it'll give me the third part. 12 uh, minus 7 equals 5. So the n in this case equals 5 inches. All right, so again, a little bit of problem solving uh, will go a long way. Now, this last one uh, requires a little bit more problem solving. Okay, and so let's just take a look at that. Uh, again, we're not finding the perimeter. We're going to find the missing angle or missing number and the perimeter, right? So we need to know what the n equals. We also need to know what these other sides equal that are not labeled. And then we need to add them all up and figure out, you know, what is the total perimeter. All right, so there's a couple of different things that are going on here. Number one, we have to see this thing as kind of a big square. All right. If this notch wasn't cut out, it would be a big square. And if it's a big square, we know certain things about that square. We know if the top of the square is 12 centimeters, then the bottom's also 12 centimeters. And we know that the left side is 12 centimeters, and so the right side has to total 12 centimeters. All right. And so this little notch here, the N, that is the same length as this piece right here that would be there if it was a uh, square. And so sometimes we have to see it as a square to try to figure these things out. All right. So all the vertical lengths on this side, 4 plus 4 plus this missing number, have to equal 12. And so again, it's taking the whole, which is 12, and subtracting the two parts that I know. I know 4 and 4, and it will give me the, uh, it will tell me what the other missing part is, right? And so 4 plus 4 equals 8. And so if I do 12 minus 8, I get 4. So the n in this situation equals 4. Now, if the n is 4, then the bottom is 12. What about these two sides right here? Well, this is another little square in there. So uh, this top has to be 4, that bottom has to be 4, and this right here is not part of the perimeter, right? So I'm just going to erase that part. And now I know all of the sides. I can just add them up. So let me do that right over here. I have 12, 12, and 12. I'm going to add those up. Then I have 4, 4, 4, 4, and 4. 4, 4, 4, and 4. And instead of just going straight down, I'm going to do a little further problem solving here and say, I'm going to combine all the 12s. I'm going to combine all the 4s. And then I'll add the two numbers together. So 12, 12, and 12, that's 12 times 3, which is 36. And then 4, 4, 4, 4, and 4 equals 4 times 5, or 20. And now I can combine these pretty simply. 6 plus 0 is 6. And then 2. Uh, 3 plus 2 is 5. So the perimeter equals 56, and then I have to label it with the correct um, measure, which is centimeters. All right, so sometimes you, you have to do a little extra problem solving in order to figure out what is the missing side length. All right, here's our job for uh, tonight's homework. And that is, we're going to work out of the homework book, H11-7. We're working on numbers 1 through 9. We're going to skip number 4. That is the circle. And we're not going to find the perimeter of a circle just yet. Uh, and we're just going to focus on parallelograms and triangles. Uh, and number 8 and 9 are kind of tricky. So you have to read it uh, very carefully and play, pay very close attention to what they're uh, what exactly that they're asking you to do, right? And the reminder is to do some uh, good problem solving when there's a missing side. Good luck.